Oh, hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Ew, imagine being one of those people. <laughs> it's me, Monet Exchange, and you are watching my YouTube channel, not the Disney channel. If you want Disney, this ain't the channel for you. Um, no, I am here today to do this video. This is something that I've meant to do for a long time um, because I know it's something that a lot of people do, especially with like so many beauty secrets and hacks and, and also so many people who may shave often for whatever your job may be. My job is a drag queen, so I have to shave quite often, quite frequently for the past, what, seven years now? And um, so it's something that I had looked into. And yeah, today we're talking about laser hair removal for darker skin. Yikes. So just to give y'all a little backstory, I've been doing drag for eight years now and about two years into it, I was like, I need to figure out something because of ingrown hairs, because of irritation, because of just like really bad breakouts I was having from shaving so often. And um, not to mention black folk, not all, but I know that there are a lot of black folk out there who can't even use like regular straight razors that like a lot of people out there use because it just causes irritation. The one time I tried to use a straight razor to shave my face. Like, I mean, the next day I had white bumps all over my entire face. No, it wasn't no dirty razor. I looked into getting laser hair removal. And it's a, it's a, it's a treatment that is not new. A lot of people do it. There are a lot of people who have done it. Back in the day, you know, people used to do um, epilates. Have y'all ever heard of epilates? It's like a tool from the 70s, I want to say, where it... I think you go with the machine and it like pulls out the hair follicles like one by one and I don't know if Lady Bunny told me this, but like a lot of, of the older gals and older queens and lots of trans sisters from back in the day, they used to use epilates to remove the hair from their face permanently and their body and stuff. And I guess after doing it over long periods of time and after a while, the hair just does not grow back. So I think that's how RuPaul got rid of his facial hair. I don't think RuPaul was ever, ever like a beefy, hairy, uh, bear type anyway. But the epilady was something that he, he used back in the day to stop his hair growth because he's a fucking drag queen. Now, before this, I had heard that um, laser hair removal was a little different for black folks. So I like did like research and stuff online and I was looking up places in New York that um that had treated black folk before or black people had went before and let me tell you the results were few and far between like i mean i was like researching and i found one that also had a group on uh it's the one that coincided that's like oh this place looks great this place was in midtown east like she brought me back to her room they did like a little consultation she like looked at my face i had like some hyperpigmentation spots which i have this can y'all even see that i've been trying to get rid of these two spots for literally three fucking months. Also, she did her eyebrows today. And I, but I knew to ask the question. I was like, hey, just so I know, have, do you guys have any experience treating darker skin? Do you guys treat darker skin often? How have those experiences been? Yada, yada, yada. She's like, yes, we have done dark skin clients before and we know that we have to use a, a certain type of laser. If you are going to be doing laser hair laser hair removal on darker skin, they recommend like the YAG laser and the 1064, like, oh, like they like specific latest lasers for darker skin. If you're not aware of the mechanics of laser hair removal, people who are really fair skin with blonde hair and people who are dark with dark hair, the machine has a hard time distinguishing between the color of your skin and the color of the hair. So those people, those two groups have a hard time getting laser hair removal. But she was like, yes, I've done this before. I got it, trust me, like you're in great hands. Trust me, trust me, trust me. I was like, okay. Took a gulp, signed a scroll. I signed up for six treatments at $800. I was getting my chest and stomach done. I was like, because I had heard it could be a little crazy, I was like, I'm not gonna do the face. Because also, I was like, bitch, after drag race, after life, like, I might want to, you know, have a beard. So I was like, I don't want to touch my face. Maybe later on, but not today. So she recommended, she said it would be between six to nine treatments for the hair to stop growing. The hair never completely disappears. Like, even if you get a hundred treatments of laser hair removal, you still have to go back every couple of months just to get a little to touch up like it's like like you could just you, there's no way you can just stop the hair growth like hair would never grow there there are certain follicles that the hair may not grow back that is true but as as a general rule for laser hair removal it, the hair just does not stop that's just not how herring works she put this like silicone gel this clear silicone gel all over me and um she got the little 
the, it's like a tube attached to the laser light. Who is texting me? Then she goes like across your like every couple like, every like inch or so is like then she does like line 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 by line line by line line by line. The whole procedure probably fifteen minutes or so. And then it was done. When it was done, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if it was supposed to tingle, supposed to burn, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. So I didn't really say anything because I was like, this is how it's supposed to feel. I didn't know. <sighs> when I went home, I was like, this feels really tender. So it was also super red and it was hot. Like my skin was like hot, like, like feverishly hot. Like the rest of my body was fine, but the skin where she had done the laser was like on fire. Maybe this is how it is. Again, I don't know. I've never done this before. So I was like, I let a little time pass. And then like an hour and a half later, I was like, okay, something isn't right. So I started, got on, got on the Google machine. Google, 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 Google. Oh my God. And the pictures were so scary and so graphic. I was like, no, 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 no. This cannot happen to me. No, no, no. So I like immediately called the office and they were like, oh, that's weird. I don't think she was like, I don't think I burned you, but you can come on down. I can take a look at it. So I immediately... I didn't even take the train. I got in my car and I drove down. Just she was like, I would go to Dwayne Reed and get aloe vera gel. And then she was like, and she gave me this thing, which I think I still have it somewhere in this in my room. She gave me this thing of this other thing to put on it to, to, to prevent scarring. Bitch, when I saw the thing that prevents, I was like, am I going to scar from this? Is this going to like leave a permanent thing? She's like, no, no, no. This is just like preventative, just in case. Girl, cut to, woke up the next morning. In my, it looked like someone like took brass knuckles and like beat me up in my chest. There were like huge bruises, like everywhere that she had went with the impression of the laser, there were bruises and big welts like all over my chest and my stomach. And I was like, oh my God. So then I, I, was, I was taking pictures, sending to her. I was like, <laughs> day three or four, I wake up in the morning and my chest is just, the skin is like, it, it, I looked like I had been, they were third degree burns. I had third degree burns, flames, flames on the side of my face, on my chest. <laughs> like I had third degree burns all over my chest. At this point, I was so mortified. I was sad. I was like, I cannot believe that I've been burned by laser hair removal. I went to the place. She was like, oh, I can um do laser treatments to remove, after this is, after it heals, I can do laser treatments to remove the scarring. I was like, you think I want you to put another fucking laser on me again? Like, in what world am I, I was like, absolutely not. I'm not coming back here again. Like, I'm done. Like, I want a refund, give my money. She's like, well, we don't give refunds, but we can help you take care of the scarring. Needless to say, again, I had signed a contract, all that stuff, so I'm sure in the language of the contract, there was nothing I could do. So I, Fucking cussed them out, went home. That was that. It took like about, I want to say like a year for like the scars to like completely go away. <laughs> like two years later, I had, I think we had just filmed Drag Race. I had just gotten back from filming Drag Race. So again, I get on the Google, I'm looking things up, like looking up reviews of different laser places in New York City because because I knew I was like I'm about to be thrust into this world of drag race where I'm flying and traveling and blah 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 dealing with really bad breakout from shaving all the time like that's just not the tea it's like not the moves I need to like get laser hair removal I need to like figure my life out with that so I found this place they had great reviews they were like yeah they do laser hair removal on chocolate skin blah 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 like I read all the things this time, I didn't even do the Groupon. I was like, you know what? Maybe that was my problem. I try to go the cheap route and do Groupon. That's what I get. So I get to the place, and I tell them about my past experiences, like about what happened. And they were like, we get it. A lot of people don't know. Uh, but yeah, you have to use the YAG laser. And saying like all the right things, I was like, oh, they good. They got me. I go for my first treatment. Again, chest and stomach area. Oh, and back too. Again, now, I'm not like a hairy monster but you know the hair be percolating a little bit like, there'd be a little i think the back was more for no the back was for drag too but also when you like but with the boys i ain't trying to have like a little prickly back of that shit you know what i'm saying like that's not cute that's like not the move <laughs> as soon as she like did the first part i was like this feels completely different my skin doesn't feel hot it doesn't feel weird it doesn't look weird it's like night and day different from what i experienced before and i got home um and 
it was good. I didn't feel burnt. I didn't feel scarring. I didn't, I mean, I didn't feel anything. Like, it, like I was good. I was like, oh my God, yay. It was definitely cheaper than before. Oh, the girl, the clerk at that place, she was a Drag Race fan. And even though the cast wasn't announced, she knew who I was from being in New York and like all that stuff. So she like gave me, I, I feel like she gave me like a really fierce discount. Bitch, I don't know. Anyway, it was like 120 bucks per session. But a lot of them, they didn't charge me. So like I would go and do the session, I'd go to pay, they're like, no, you're all right. <laughs> so the first session was good, it was fierce. I was like, yes. Like six weeks later, I go back for, I go back for another session. Boom, woo, woo, yes, yes, yes. This is great, thank you so much. Six weeks later, I go back for a third session and I think I did up to a fourth session. And then I took a break because with because Drag Race was announced and my schedule was so crazy and I couldn't like like I couldn't get into the office to do the sessions. I was like, but the hair was growing back really slowly. The hair was not growing back really fast. Like I definitely didn't have to shave as often. Cut to spring of 2018, I went back to the place and I was like, hey, I want to add my underneck. Because if y'all know all the shout out to all the black dudes out there, y'all know this is like a problem area for us. Like because it's in like the crevice of your neck and it's like under like there's like lots of tendencies for um for hair bumps and um and uh and irritation on like ingrown hair so i was like i want to do from this down after drag if i want to grow a beard no one ever needs all that i didn't do anything here on my face i did from here down so they started adding this area i did like two sessions of that from here chest stomach back that was good ah a squirrel I go for a set, this is probably like my sixth session, but sec third one adding this. And I go home and something wasn't right this time. This time my stomach felt like what the feeling I had before, for the first time I ever got laser done. I know this feeling, this is a very familiar feeling, fuck. So I immediately call the lady and I tell her and I send her a picture, she's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, I think I burned you. Come the fuck on, dude. Get the fuck out of here! And it tore me up, girl. Burn, 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 burn. And again, that took like a couple months for that to go away too. I like called Bob and I was like on the phone crying. I was like, Bob, you don't understand. I can't believe they did this to me. I was like, uh, I want to sue them. And you sign waivers and you sign this and the other. So you don't really know what you can and cannot do. That was my laser removal story. Do I regret it? Um, honestly, I will say the months of the second, the, like the year, basically almost like a year of doing the, a, a little less than a year of doing the second round of treatments. That was like great. Like the hair, the hair growth was like super slow. I mean, like normally I have to shave everything like every time you get into drag depending on what you're, sh what you're showing obviously but if i'm going to show that area i would have to shave it when i got laser hair removal i had to shave those areas like maybe once a month i don't have any more scarring the scarring there's no scarring it, like nothing lasts it all like you know it all went away and stuff but it was still like the trauma of dealing with that and getting burned and the pain because it's it's like so tender and it's so burnt because there are third degree burns in your body if you are thinking of getting laser hair removal, this is, again, this is 2020. I don't know what the technology is now. The technology is probably way better. They probably figured out some things. Would I do it again? Probably, because I'm a fool. Different people react differently regardless. Even if they had treated 100 pe uh, people of color with dark skin and dark hair and they, like, had successful situations, yours may be different. Like, everyone's skin is, is different sensitivities. You just never know how your skin is going to react. It's all tricky and you just never really know. So I would just say, you just gotta go case by case. And yeah, that's my laser hair removal story. But I have a lot of crazy stories and things I've endured. And I wanted to do this for a while because I think it's really important. I think people of color out there should know. And um, the lighty whiteys out there with the super fair skin and super blonde hair, like y'all are in danger too, Mary. So click down in the link below and subscribe. Turn on your notifications for my channel. Make sure you're watching The Exchange Rate. Make sure you're listening to Sibling Rivalry. Um, yeah, I think that's all it. That's all it. I think that's it. Ciao. <laughs>